Hey everyone, hope all is well. So today we'll be going through an example of how we're using BeHuman, well, for BeHuman. We'll be using BeHuman today to contact users who have canceled their plan, get in touch and see what we can do to bring them back onto the platform, or in the very least, gather some intel and feedback as to why they canceled in the first place. So as you can see here, I have some data from our user base. Now these are users who canceled I've hidden their emails and sensitive data, but you can see their first names here, and that's what we'll be personalizing in this example. So let me go into the Behemoth platform. And we're going to start by hitting create and then going to my videos, and we're going to be creating a new video here. So let's give this a name. Now I just recorded this video a few minutes ago, so I'll go ahead and upload it now. Great, now it's transcribing, which means it's writing down everything I said in the video, so that we can create variables from my speech. So now I have to go ahead and highlight my variable. So I can do that by selecting the word I wanna change from the script. And the only thing I'm actually personalizing here will be the name. So all I have to do is select name and I wanna make that the variable first name. And then we hit finish. All right, <clears throat> now our video has been created. It's that simple, that easy. Now, the first thing I usually like to do is preview a sample to make sure that the quality looks good and that we're ready to actually send this out. So let's hit preview sample and I'll put in a sample name like Jason and hit generate sample. BeHuman is an AI platform and like all AI, it's about experimentation. So as you can see, I'm a couple feet away from the camera here. My face is in somewhat dim lighting. Now I found that to work best with our model. Distance from the camera, usually the further the better, and somewhat sort of dim, very soft lighting across the face. Um, but if my sample doesn't come out good, I may reshoot this to get a better angle, better distance, better lighting, until I have a result that I'm happy with that I can send out to my audience. And one more note is that there's a knowledge bias at play here. So I know that I personalized the first name. So when I watch the sample video that I'm generating, well, I'll be focused like a hawk on where I am saying hi, and then whatever that first name would be. And I need to keep in mind that my audience is not going to be focused like a hawk like that, right? They're going to be maybe watching the video on their phone, on the go, or you know, opening it up into a Chrome tab, not suspecting that or personalizing, or manipulating anything. So you know, keep that in mind. Um, if ever you want to verify, hey, is this video okay to send out because you're just not sure, we recommend doing a blind test, which means taking one of the generated videos, sending it to a friend and say, hey, you know, don't, don't mention the video has been personalized, but just say, hey, you know, watch this video. Let me know if anything stands out to you. And if they say something like, yeah, I loved your picture, it sounded really confident, or they say the lighting was a bit off, right? Then you know that while well, the AI did its job, they didn't think there was any manipulation. They thought that you just recorded that video specifically for them, which is what we're all about here, right? Creating videos that feel like you just recorded it for each and every person on your list. So with that said, I'll pause here and we'll come back in about one or two minutes to check out our sample. Actually, just about five seconds later, our sample appeared. So let's go ahead, let's check it out. Hi, Jason. Don from Be Human here. And I wanted to check in because I noticed that you canceled your plan. And look, I know this may sound cheesy or exaggerated, but be human is true. Honestly, that, that looks perfect. Wow. I barely notice it, so I know my audience will barely notice it. So this is good to go. Um, if we wanted to further you know, improve this and make the lips less noticeable, we could use background mode as well. But honestly, this gets the job done. So um, let's go back to the platform. This looks good. So now we're ready to create a campaign and start to actually generate our videos for our audience and then eventually send them out. So let's do that. Let's hit create new campaign. And I'm going to give this campaign a name, trend users outreach, and select the industry. I'm in software. And this is to, let's see, reduce churn. Perfect. Create campaign. All right. Now, the first step is providing our data. So where do we want the data to come from? So I have a CSV file. So let me just go into Google Sheets. I'll download this as a CSV, and then I'll go ahead and upload it. There we go. And you can see that our table preview has showed up. We have our customers, and we have uh, what we want to personalize, of course, the first name. So the next step is up here, top right. We have map your column headers to video variables. So this means that 
the variable I declared in my video, so first name, we need to tell Behemoth, okay, where in that CSV file that I just upload, do we have that column with those variables? So we have it, it's called first name in my spreadsheet as well, right here, first name. So uh, at this point, we can decide, okay, now the part where I say, hey, Jason, or hey, Mark, or hey, whatever, do we want that to be generated by the voice AI, or do we want to record those manually? And the reason I may want to record it manually is so that if I'm using be human in a different language, maybe in French or Italian, for example, you know, the our AI right now for our voice isn't really great at like getting a really good accent in other languages other than English. So that's why I may prefer to record it manually so that I know I get the pronunciation down perfectly. Uh, but for now, for first names especially, let's keep things simple. We've enabled voice cloning on. Finally, down here we have background mode. This is what I mentioned. It will put a custom background behind you. Now for this audience, I don't have any custom background for them. I mean, I, I probably, I could go in and take their websites and put that website as a background, but a lot of these are Gmail emails, so I wouldn't have a website for them. So I'll just keep it simple, just do a straight video for now. And that's all we have to do. We uploaded our data and we selected our variable mapping. So now let's hit generate. Okay, perfect. So we are on the campaign share page. You can see that we have our generated videos here processing right now. There's about 140 of these that I'm processing. So this will probably take around maybe 20, 25 minutes. Um, and then we'll come back, we'll watch some of the videos, make sure they're all good. And then finally send them out over email. So I'll pause here and I'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, so we are back and we can see their videos are done processing here. I can click see all to expand this out and we can see all of them here. And if we want to see, for example, let's see, this is for paradox. I can hover over to see what the variables are. So let's check out the one for Martin. So I can click Vimeo and this will open the Vimeo link for that particular video. And I can watch it, make sure all looks good. And once we're ready, start sending these out. Hi, Martin. Don from Be Human here. And I wanted to check in because I noticed that you canceled your plan. And look, I know this yeah. may sound perfect. Really, really good render. So these all look good. The next step is to go and to share your video. So a couple of options here. We can either send them directly from the platform or we can download the videos as a CSV file and then send them from another platform of our choice. But I like to keep things simple and easy and keep it all in house. So let's use Be Human to send it for us. Now I'll be sending it over email. And all I have to do is first select the email that I wanna be sending from. And I already connected this, Don at behuman.ai. Now let's add a subject. So for example, first name, and this data is getting pulled from our CSV file that we uploaded. I'm giving you behuman for free. And over here we have delay between emails. What this means is that it's not going to send all of them instantly. It's going to send one, wait some certain amount of seconds, then send the next one and so on and so forth. We always recommend this because this is going to reduce the chances that you'll go to spam. So I'll set something like, let's say, I don't know, 17 seconds, something random, right? And now let's build the body of our email. So, hey, and then first name, comma. Okay, so I wrote some basic copy here. Hey, first name. And then I mentioned, you know, I was looking through a user list. I noticed that you canceled your plan with us. And I said, that if you can let us know your candid feedback on why you downgraded, we'll give you either Be Human for free or a gift card of your choice. More details in this video I just made for you. And then I can embed the video. To do that, all I have to do is click video. And this is going to embed the Vimeo with the thumbnail there. Now let's check this out. Let's get a sample before we send this off to all 159 recipients. So I'll click request a sample and put in my email here. All right, so it said sample was sent. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's the video. So in this case, it was for someone named Uchi. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So Uchi, I'm giving you Behemoth for free. And then here's our copy, and then this is the video. Hi, Uchi. Don from Behemoth here. And I wanted to check in because I noticed that you canceled your plan. And look, I know this may sound cheesy or exaggerated, but Be Human is truly my life's work. So okay, when I see good. that, now one change I want to make is editing this subject line because 
if someone's really disinterested in be human at this point, they don't care about getting be human for free. So I want to mention how we can also give them a gift card. So let me just think about this for a second. Let's try that. Another important note, make sure that the column that contains your emails has email written somewhere so we know that's your email column. Okay, looks good to me. Let's do it. So let's go ahead, let's hit send. Okay, so you'll notice that on the top right, we start to have these notifications, email sent successfully, email sent successfully. So because of this delay here, we'll get the notification once every 17 seconds. I'm just going to leave this tab open. You could close it. It'll continue to send. So there you have it. This will start to get us feedback on why users downgraded. And hopefully, I think actually likely bring back in quite a few of them onto the platform with that big incentive. They'll get it for free for a couple months and then eventually back as paying customers onto the Behemoth platform. So of course, you can use this for your own platform. This is really meant to give you some inspiration and ideas on how to use Behemoth from end to end. So if you have any questions on this or anything else Behemoth related, feel free to drop a note in the comments below and we'll get back to you or use our live support. Hey, and real quick, as a bonus, I was just about to end this video when I saw we already got a reply in. So Garrett said, hey, uh, it's just that we haven't had time to use it, but if you gave us a couple months for free, we'd have more time to play with it and see if we can adopt it into our marketing stack. So already starting to see results here. And, you know, it's great to see that sort of instant feedback. And I'm sure we'll get tons of more of these emails come in over the next few hours. All right, that's all for me. I'll see you on the platform. Bye-bye.